Hi Max, how are you today? Hey, I'm good, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. So today wait, we're gonna learn how to dive. We do a video to learn how to dive properly because uh, we got a lot of beginners, they, they struggle a little bit. So can you show me what is a good uh, diving first? Yeah, of course. All right, buddy. Awesome. Come back here. So Max, the idea now is to uh, to try to help the beginners to reach that kind of diving. Yeah. Um, so usually the beginners, they struggle when they dive, right? It's not like the head is not under the arms. Uh, they fall in the water yeah, exactly. uh, with the feet first. Okay. Can we have an idea how it looks like yeah. a beginner diving? Approximately something like this. All right. So that's pretty much what is Which the is step the step one of beginner, right? Yeah, exactly. All right. So okay, let's try to help uh, our viewers uh, with um, a very simple step-by-step -step progress. So let's say I'm exactly like that, and I want to learn how to dive properly. So what's the different steps? Yeah, sure. At first, I think the best is to just go go down in the water, like just let you let you fall. So you can sit on the ground. Yeah, you sit on the ground and you just try to. So you let your body fall and you accept to put your face first in the water. Yeah, the face in the water. You don't forget to blow by the nose. Blow the bubbles and by the nose, yeah? Yeah, blow the bubbles by the nose. And uh, just let you down and feel comfortable. All right. I think this is the first uh, good step, yeah? Awesome, so I can do this now. What's, what's next for me? So the next one will be just a little bit more up. So you can try to go down of the water All right. this time both uh, feet in the ground and you just try to let you down head first <sighs> like all right so it looks like uh, you just fall like a ball like this yeah exactly just, just blow through. bubbles from the nose yeah uh, it's very important fall in the water head first and then uh, if you can reach this point exactly it's just feeling good when you dive on the water when you go down to the water you have to feel good all right uh, next step yeah next step just a little bit more up this time you're gonna put your hand in the arrow position so what's the arrow position yeah? arrow position the hand really high forward and the the head a little bit more down in the water. So chin you on your to, chest. Yeah, chin on the chest. Elbows closed. Let me check it out. Exactly. All right. So, all right. I see your head is down. Hands together. Turn your elbows. Close your elbows. Block your head under your arms. Exactly. So now it's good. And so what do you do? Exactly the same step. So you can start by sitting on the ground, just in the arrow position, and let you down, head and hands first in the water. Awesome, buddy. So Max, I can say that now the, the very important point is when you fall, right, to keep your head under your arms and to not chin up at that moment. That's what I see a lot. Yeah, this is very important. You have to keep your position on and do not look look forward because yeah. if you look if you look in front of you, there will be more resistance in the water and it will be bad for the glide. So basically when you dive you don't look forward, you just go and you accept to look down at the, exactly. at the ground. You have to look down to the swimming pool. Alright, awesome. Next one? Yeah, so next one, exactly the same. Both feet in the ground. You grab with your toes, yeah? Yeah, you can do that, yeah. It's better for the... Do not, uh, do not sleep on the ground. Sure. This is good. Our position and you just let you down, hands first and uh, hands first, yeah, and head first after. Cool. I think it's great. So let's repeat. The hand goes first in the water. Yeah. Then the head stays under the arms. The head is still blocked. Yeah. The head is the second Always things blocked. from your body to go in the water. Yeah. Last will be the feet, right? Exactly. Okay. Let's so after that, you have to be careful when you dive because if you have two under the water, it uh, you have to get some. Uh, you 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 can't do that in a shallow. Uh, yeah, yeah of course you, you might you might hit the ground and hit yeah, yourself exactly. so maybe at that moment when you 
when you enter the water with your hands the good thing is to stretch your arms forward to start to glide on the front and not just go down down exactly. down and for this you can help yourself with your with your knees in the ground like in the arrow position uh-huh you won't go too much uh, under the water but a little bit more gliding in the, in the front I see. So first of all, we recommend to do it when it's not so shallow. Exactly. At least at least one meter sixty, two meters, two meters would be the best, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's very important. So this time, you have to point your hands on the water. Uh huh. Not too, not too far under, but not not too much in the front too. Just just in the and then go there. Equally and go there. So I see, once you eat the water, you stretch your arms to go further, you don't eat the water and just down, 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 yeah, down, exactly. down. You, you just have to let you glide the more you can, the more forward you can. All right, that's cool. That's... And after, it's exactly the same uh, steps, but this time you can put only one knee in the ground and one foot on the ground. And one with this one. foot, yeah. after that, you can push a little bit when you go down in the water and when you glide. To get you more, uh, more, more uh, fast, yeah, to be more fast. Okay, let me see. Same things, and then there is a push with your feet, huh? Exactly. At the last moment, so you punch with your hands, and you let. Oh, yeah, I think I got it. So when, when do the swimmer can start to jump? Okay. Oh, just after. Just after this uh, this step, okay, you can go on your both feet in the ground. You can grab your ground, grab the ground. It's good too. And this time, you have to bend your knees a little bit. Uh huh. Just go in the arrow position. And same, don't go too much on the under the water. Not too much in forward, but just. Here. And oh. you just let you down and push with your feet. So you're gonna push when you start to fall. So basically you just let your body fall. When you feel you are falling, then push and then you die. Yeah, exactly. Can you show me? Yeah, sure. So, knees, bend, push, let. What well, was cool, this one. So, oh, that's pretty good already, right? When you yeah, reach, when you when you reach that step, then you can fall. When you feel you lose your balance and you're gonna fall, instead of chin up, you just keep your chin down, jump forward, exactly. chin down, eat the eat the water, stretch your arms for one glide under. Exactly. You have to push when you feel the balance going down. So we keep the feet close together, right? The legs are straight after yeah, the push. Just for this step, yeah. But after that. You can do exactly the same exercise as just before. One feet on the ground, the other one in the ground, but just with a little bit of space. Uh -huh. And this time, same thing. You got the arrow position, you bend a little bit knees. No, your knees are a little bit bent. Yeah. And this time, you just push. I like this one. That oh, looks really, really good. And and the last one. Yeah. So this time, basically, it's exactly the same than just before. But this time, we're gonna use our arms and our hands to get more more power in the air. So you. we're gonna swing the heifer body. In. So we're gonna just. Let okay. Your so body you go. you you start on the gr on the ground. You feel you fall, when you fall you extend, in the same time then you extend, your hands just fly going, to go in the streamline, yeah, exactly. in the arrow position. The as possible. And you have to be really straight, your body has to be really, has to be really straight. How, how, how it looks like from here? You just put your hands and... Just put the hands... Okay, so you start with your hands on the side, yeah? Yeah, like, you can grab the, you can grab the ground too, and when you have to go, you just... Balance, you lose your balance in the front and you push with the feet and at the same time you go 
up with your arms. Okay, let's try. Let's try this. How is it? You all right? Yeah. All right. And this is over. Can I try to have a look underwater straight? Yeah, sure. So uh, I want to see how he works underwater. What, what to, what to do to don't go to the ground, right? Yeah, you have to keep the arrow position, and you can do some dolphin kicks to to keep the power of the of the dive. All right, show me, buddy. Yeah. Okay, I think it's pretty okay. Yeah. And that's it. So next time we can try to improve this diving by jumping from not the ground but jumping from the starting point, right? Yeah, exactly. So some higher spot to start. Yeah. But let's recommend first to start from the ground level mm -hmm. and then later on you can yeah. you can stand up more. Okay, thank you Max. That's alright. That was awesome. See, See you, you next then. time. Bye. Cheers.